Hello everyone, as I explained in the previous video, I promised to uh, show you a tutorial how to uh, prepare a geometry for a layering technique. And in this video, uh, I'm going to walk you through the step that how to prepare a geometry for a, sim, uh, for a layering technique. So in this geometry, we've got this, this smaller rectangle which is moving from left to right in this bigger rectangle which represents the fluid zone. And because there are uh, interfaces between uh, moving and a stationary zone, we have to create uh, interfaces. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. And then uh, I'm going to walk you through meshing and fluid setting. So, so let's create some interfaces. We are in the space claim. And uh, if you are not familiar uh, with the space claim, just please watch some video to get familiar with this software. So right now we are set to create some lines. So let's just create some lines here. And also from here to here. So we are separating these zones from, you know, from the top zone, but it's not enough because this wall is moving too, so we need to create, uh, we need to separate this, the top zones from left and right zones. So again, we need to create some lines from here to here and here to here. So I think we are done with the, you know, first step of geometry uh, preparation. But let's switch to 3D mode and we need to create separate bodies uh you know uh, within these you know surfaces that we created and uh, one simple way to do that is to just you know select these lines and hold on the control key and then go to split body and as you see it has been uh, you know separated so now we have two two bodies so you just you know keep continue uh, this step until you split you know this surface to six different uh, surfaces so we are done with the uh, with the creation of different surfaces uh, from this one body and uh, as you can see there are six separate surfaces are created and that's what we want. So now we are ready to, to move to the measure and, and continue the preparation. So let's, uh, let's move to the measure. So we are in the measure uh, at this step and I'm going to show you how to uh, create a, a quad mesh uh, for this geometry. Uh, so to save time, I'm just going to show you one step and I'm going to finish the rest uh, uh, and then we'll come back. So, but to do that, simply uh, we need to click on mesh and then uh, and then right click and and insert the sizing. And just uh, just choose uh, and then select the edge filter and choose you know these edges as you wish. And to to choose multiple edges, just uh, uh, hit the control and and select all of them and then click apply and to make it simple just we are going to create the element size of one millimeter and as you can see it has you know the the mold, the mesh nodes uh, have been created. So I'm going to do the rest and come back later. So a nice mesh has been generated as you can see. So to, to do that as I, as I explained before, I just create two edge sizing and don't forget to, to do a face meshing. Otherwise you won't have a nice quad mesh and you may get some triangular mesh. So at this step, I'm going to show you how to create the interfaces between these, uh, you know, different uh, faces. And to do that, uh, to do that, uh, let's change the filter to the body filter and click at one of the faces and then right click and hide body. 
and then switch back to the edge filter and select this edge and then create a name selection let's call it uh, interface one and then right click and show all bodies and again repeat the same step for this uh, surface so again switch to body don't forget this step click right click hide body switch back to the edge filter select the same in the same edge it's seen the same edge but it's the other side of edge and then create a name selection out of it call interface 2 and then show all bodies now when we click this there are two faces there are two interfaces so one of them is this on other one is this so and you need to create this step for all of this yeah surface for all of the interfaces uh, except for this one because you know uh, we, we I mean we don't need to uh, create the interface between you know solid body and and this one so I created four pa pairs of interfaces as you can see and the the reason to uh, one way to check it is when you click on these you know lines it shows you know two sides which means that you know uh, there are inter interfaces so in the next step in Fluent, I'm going to, you know, create, uh, you know, interfaces from these two interfaces. And also I'm going to change this interface to interior zone because at this top, uh, top side of this rectangle is moving, it's going to move this zone. And I need to uh, define a rigid body motion for these two lines. So just pay attention to this. And also one thing that I forgot in the geometry preparation, I had to, uh, you know, delete this rectangle because it's not part of the fluid. So just please go back to the geometry and delete this uh, uh, this surface, so so you can have uh, you can have the, uh, the the solid geometry. The next step would be to create name selections for the. Uh, for for these walls and for these walls which i'm going to do it and, and and then i'm going to go to the fluent so i've created a name selection for law for walls as you can see so this is wall left top and right also i created name selection for all these surfaces you know as you can see moving left move moving left top moving top moving right and moving right top so we are going to use this the zones during settings of layering so it's important to uh, to properly name select all of them so at this stage uh, we are ready to to go to fluent and continue our tutorial